Hi everyone, it's Shelly from Shelly's Creative Crafts again. Um, as promised, I uh, have a few more uh, journals that I wanted to uh, show you that are about to be um, up in my Etsy shop. And uh, I have three that I'm going to share and hopefully we can kind of go through it quickly, but I definitely don't want to, you know, obviously rush through it. But um, I've got some smaller ones. Um, I know that um, a lot of folks have been asking for a little bit, you know, kind of like, not necessarily traveler size, but a little bit smaller to maybe toss in a in a tote or a handbag or that sort of thing. So um, you asked and I hopefully delivered. Um, so let's get started with this first one. This one uh, measures, let's see here. So this one measures approximately six by four. So it's it's a pretty small uh, journal, but it uh, is definitely, you know, got, got a lot of uh, goodies in it. It is a two signature. Um, and then the back part, and I, I love this fabric. This is a, um, a sheer fabric that I had that I just love. And then of course the, the little uh, metal tag that says journal. And then I did um, the coffee dyed um, steam binding. And then of course the eyelet um, closures. And uh, so we'll just jump right on in. So we've got really pretty uh, vintage looking um, scrapbooking paper on the inside. And then of course a pocket with a little um, tags in there and then this is just a little wishbone little um, charm that I put on um, a string and it actually is glued down so it's not going to not going to go anywhere. Um, first off is a pocket with some pretty uh, stamping peacock feathers and then I did a little um, booklet with just some blank uh, coffee dyed paper in it and then of course a little um, little tiny little pocket um, that just uh, made out of some lace. Um, so I thought that was really pretty. And so that goes in the front pocket there. And then uh, tried to do, I, as always, I always try to leave a lot of uh, blank paper for writing um, so that, you know, so that obviously you can use it as a journal or putting pictures in or any kind of memories. Um, I did the, the darker um, coffee staining. And um, so I, I hope that that's, something that's, um, you know, that, that, that you like. It's definitely not for everyone, um, but I, I do tend to like the darker coffee stain. I think it gives it such a really nice effect. Um, so again, just more of that blank paper to, to jot down all those really special memories. Um, this is some stamping that says that's what friends are for. And again, more blank paper. And then I have a real pretty stamp um, there on the side. This was a quirky little card that I found at Austin Creative Reuse, and so I turned it into a pocket and put another one of those little booklets in there. And of course, it's got um, a side embellishment like the uh, the material from the uh, cover. And so it's just a little book just to jot down some notes and that sort of thing. So I thought that was really cute. And then more of that stamping on the side, just a little bit of lace embellishment. Um, a little bit more stamping, the little flower baskets, and um, this was some really old vintage rickrack that I found, and I thought it was really cool, so I had to incorporate that in. And then this one we have a pocket uh, that's actually a glassine or wax paper bag, and it's actually a double kind of multi-purpose thing here, so you can put it there, and then also in the front there's a little tag as well. And then over here I did some um, stenciling on this page so it's kind of bright and really pretty. Um, a pocket with some, uh, uh, this is kind of a, not, not a parchment paper, but it's a, a paper that just has a, a pretty um, picture on it and then of course some, um, a tag. And then more of that pretty lace with a little uh, rusted safety pin with um, a couple of uh, beads on there. And then this is the amber colored lace. I just love it. I've got, I'm running out of it and so I'll be sad to see it go, but it's going to a better home. Um, this is actually some more of that sh real pretty sheer fabric that I have. And then I um, made a, uh, a little note card um, out of a, a Paris uh, photo or, you know, that sort of thing. So that's another uh, pocket right there. And then this is the second signature. And then this is just some fun uh, paper that I found that I thought was uh, really pretty. So just kind of incorporated that in and then those little brads, those paper bat brads that I like. And there's the dress form again. I absolutely love that dress form. I think I put it in every journal because I love it so much. 
This is another um, little side pocket. This is actually some vellum um, that was decorated, and then so I made a little pocket out of it and sewed it on. And then some more of those peacock feathers. I really love those too. And, um, or the stamp, it's a, it's a peacock feather stamp. And then, of course, more blank paper. These uh, little brads that they're not actually brads, they're hard chipboard, I guess. And I just really like them. Uh, this right here is a, um, a pocket and you can, um, it's, it's an old book page, obviously. So I made a little pocket out of it and, um, and it goes, um, you know, really good. So like once you use up the old Rolodex card, you can tuck some other little goodies in there. And then this just says dream. And so I thought that was really cute. And then more blank paper, some more little, um, no um, ephemera, some just some little blank little tags to write on. And then this uh, brown, I love this brown lace, it's really pretty. Um, and then another rusted safety pin with a bead. And just a little side embellishment again. Um, this is one of those ball or bulb, um, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, garment pins with some beads. And then a ticket uh, pocket that just has um, a couple of little tags in it. Um, this one just has a pretty little charm on it. And then we are getting close to the end here. Some more blank paper. Uh, this one is one of those little envelopes that I uh, made. And there is a little surprise in there. So I won't show you what's in there. But um, if you purchase it, then you'll get to see what's in there. So um, then we have this uh, just a little side embellishment. To me, it looks like an old uh, door knocker or something. I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty. Um, so I Mod Podge that onto the side. And just to kind of give it a little bit of um, whimsy, I guess. And then the back part um, is more of that really pretty paper. And uh, then the back side again. So that one is the first one. And that one, um, I, I guess I was more or less going for a little bit more kind of a na uh, nature feel. Um, so that's the first one. So that's that one will be listed um, shortly. The second one, this is also a uh, two signature. This one's a little bit bigger. This one is, let's see, this one is seven by four. So about an inch bigger than the other. Um, and this is a book page um, flower that I made and uh, made it stiff with Mod Podge. So it's not going anywhere. And then of course put journal on the front and, and then the gold uh, Rick Rack. I thought that that was really pretty and finished it off really pretty. And so let's see what goodies we have in here. So it starts out and um, got the little bit of bling. I don't know if it's showing up there, um, but this is um, a fabric pocket that I uh, included in with a bunch of little goodies, little flashcards. I love these. I think they're really cute um, and vintage looking. So I incorporated a couple of the, or a, one of those in there. And um, just more of this blank paper. I always try to leave as much blank as I can. Uh, this right here is a, um, it's a, um, a, a pocket, obviously, but then, oh, my Mod Podge is getting kind of sticky here, um, but then it's got the um, tag in it that, there we go, um, is actually also um, like a little envelope, and you can put some goodies in there, and uh, maybe, you know, just a little trinket or something, so I kind of had that just kind of sticking out, um, just to kind of, you know, look like a little a little pocket, um, you know, makes it look like that. I thought that was really cute. Um, and then of course, just some little embellishments down at the bottom, a little key, love those little keys. Um, this is just a, a doily um, and it's actually um, got a, this is um, a uh, fabric, uh, what do you call it? A sewing pattern um, pocket that I made and just put some goodies in. Um, a piece of scrap, um, scrapbooking paper, and then um, just kind of paper clipped it all underneath this tab here. And then um, another one of those tattered um, book pages that I made into a pocket. And this is some really pretty um, rose um, infused paper that I got uh, from uh, the Southern Scribe. So um, I made that into a little tag. So that has um, tags there. And then there's this really pretty lace that has um, a little shimmer to it. This is a stamp that says that's what friends are for. 
very little, very light, light um, stenciling. And I just love this. I think it looks so vintage and I just, I'm just in love with anything vintage. Uh, this is a little file folder that's uh, sewn on so you can actually put some goodies in there, maybe paper clip it if you choose, and just some side um, embellishments and that sort of thing. And there's more of that stenciling um, with that real pretty um, uh, stencil that I have. Again, some more um, tags and that sort of thing. And then this really cool looking paper clip. It looks like a fish hook, but it's not. It's actually um, a really cool paper clip. Um, and then these little, just little, they look like brads. They don't, well, I mean, I did put them all the way through, but, um, but I thought they were really cute. I love those little things. Um, and then just a little bit of glossy paper and then another little pocket with a little goodie in there. And this one has, um, a couple of embellished paper clips. Um, this one has, uh, a little bit of tool. And then of course I did the, um, just some coffee dyed paper or tablet paper that I had, um, some stamping. And then this is some really, um, dyed, coffee dyed and everything graph paper. Um, so I thought that was really kind of cool. So I put that in there. This is just some scrapbooking paper that I left blank on the side so you can write on it or maybe put a photo in there. Um, again, more of that pretty, um, stamping and, uh, this one is really cool. This is um, just like a tag and it's got just a, a real pretty um, I'm not really sure what that symbol is, but it's really it's really cool looking and then of course a little Those are like a little cluster of buttons um, They're not real buttons. It's actually a sticker, but I thought it was really cool um, This one is just it just says family and you know just under some cheese or over some cheesecloth and again, this is one of those um, sewing pattern or uh, paper that I made into a pocket. And then um, on this side is actually fabric. And then I put some a tag in there and it just says enjoy. Um, so there's that one. And then this is just a, a journaling card that can be written on the other side with an embellished uh, paper clip. This is some funky little yarn that I have and I really like it. It, it almost looks like a a branch or something. I don't know, but it's really soft and really, really nice. I love it. So I made an embellished paper clip with that with a button and there's the dress form again. Love, love, love that dress form. And then we've got more blank paper, a belly band with a little um, card that just kind of tucks in there. And just more of that. Um, I've used this ribbon in other journals as well, and I just love it. It's really soft and just, I, I love the colors. And just kind of did that as a side embellishment. The other side of that um, graph paper that's really um, uh, coffee dyed. And just a little picture. It looks like a little boy and a little girl running in the woods. And then this is just kind of a side um embellishment but you could actually tuck maybe a you know piece of paper or something maybe a ticket or invitation or something under there and the other side of the uh, scrapbooking paper this is just a, a fun um, um into it's not a it, i guess it's it's from the old rolodex system and i just put it in as just a kind of as a divider but you could write on it you could put pictures on it just about anything um, and then the back part, we have another uh, pocket with some more uh, little tags in there, and then the back side. Um, so that is the second one. So that one will also be listed. And it is a uh, um, it it all of all the ones that I'm going to be showing are all fabric covered. Um, and then there, you know, of course, you know they have the the chipboard or or cardboard or something, you know, underneath. So they are they're 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 sturdy. Um, so that's the second one. And then the last one, I thought this was really kind of quirky and fun. I had this fabric and I had these um, flowers that I thought were really pretty. So I just kind of incorporated it in. Now this one is three signatures and the back part, I just love it. I think that I love the little, it's very neutral. It's got the browns and the kind of the mustard yellow color and the, you know, taupe and just all the kind of burlap stuff it just reminds me of and so let's jump in and see what we've got so we've got a pocket on the front as usual and um, more little good tags in there uh, this one is actually another pocket that I made that uh, just has some 
uh, little tags in there. So that's uh, the beginning of the book. And then um, some, um, just some, you know, extra paper to jot down some messages. This is a pretty um, acrylic sticker that I had that I thought was really pretty. Um, so I included that. And then uh, some more scrapbooking paper that just kind of matches the theme. Ooh, no, okay. And I thought I skipped a page, but I didn't. Um, and then this is some real pretty um, scrapbooking paper that I left blank so that you could put pictures or write on it, anything. Um, and then my camera stamp that I really love. And then this I thought was really pretty. It's, um, it's some cheesecloth-ish kind of material and then some embossed felt and then a little um, rhinestone or, you know, that sort of thing in there. And then this just has some fun little um, embellishments down in the corners and on the bottom and then a, a clock stamp which I really like uh, this right here is another belly band so um, any card or you know anything can go in there and let's see so then we've got the back side of that real pretty um, scrapbooking paper some more uh, blank paper with a camera stamp this one has the ball pen um, with the uh, bead on it and then some real pretty uh, scrapbooking paper as well. And then this I love, this is, I don't know if you can see the gloss in there, but I uh, put some pearlescent um, spray, or, or uh, not spray paint, um, pearlescent, it's a spray and it, it's really pretty, I love it. Um, and then I had some of this amber colored um, paper left over, so I, I wanted to incorporate that in as well because it just really matches pretty. Um, so that's the end of the first one. Oh, there's the dress form again. I just love that thing. I just can't get away with it or just can't get away from it. Um, and then we've got some more um, real pretty paper. There's some more of that real pretty ribbon that I have. Um, and let's see, we've got, um, this is actually um, some old, uh, or. That I say old, I made it look old, um, cheesecloth that I uh, stamped a peacock on. I thought that was really pretty. And then just some little uh, goodies inside. There's a little book that says notes and um, just has some little blank paper in it. And I thought that was really kind of fun. Um, and then of course the, you know, the back side, but it's, uh, I thought that was really pretty. And then um, we have just a picture of a lady and it says street costumes. So I thought that was really pretty. And then just some um, stickers that I had that I thought were really pretty. Some more of that uh, book page flower um, that I made. And this one is another uh, uh, tuck or side pocket and then it has a little tiny envelope in it. Um, oh, and there's a little surprise in there as well. And then there's just a, a note card or a a, a real pretty picture with some flowers and um, that sort of thing to write on. And then we've got our the back side of that paper, um, just a little brad or tab or I don't know, you know, just something, just kind of dress it up there. Uh, this one is another pocket. And then of course um, I had to put in some, um, you know, little, little tags and that sort of thing to write on or, um, jot down some notes with sometimes you know you just need just a little piece of paper and um, another one of my rusted uh, safety pins with a bead and some lace and then more of that blank paper so that you can create your own memories in here uh, this one I just love it it's a, a scrapbooking piece of paper but I just love I love Fleur de Lis I think it's beautiful um, and a glassine bag with some little uh, tags so it's a little pocket and then once that's used up, obviously you can put your own put your own things in there. Um, and then we've got more blank paper onto the third signature, um, another pocket, and some more goodies inside. Um, just some tags and some writing paper, and more blank paper. And then another little pocket with another um, little note another little note uh, book that I made and then it's got these little tiny tags in there so I thought that was really cute um, and then some blank paper and that just tucks in there and then just uh, some of the rickrack that I have some more of this um, stenciled paper really pretty and then um, just some stickers that I had I love the old shoes 
Um, I love shoes, period, but I thought that was really pretty. Um, another of the uh, paper, I mean, uh, safety pins with the bead on it were pretty bead. And some lace. And another embellished um, paper clip that I did. And um, this is just a, 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 a tag. Um, so that's in there, another shoe. And let's see, getting pretty close to the end here. More blank paper. Uh, this one is really kind of cool. I, I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's I, I had some old keys and buttons and a pen, and, and so I sprayed over it and made it um, like the impression of the, of the stuff on the paper. So I thought that was really cool. That was a lot of fun to do. Um, and then getting back to the last page, just some lace with some old vintage buttons over it. And then the back part, um, this last page is just some, um, just a note card with um, some other paper um, to write on. And then the back part, and then the, our back cover here. So those are the three that will be listed um, here shortly um, in my Etsy shop. And it's Classic Finds for Less, the, the four being an actual number four, so Classic Finds for Less. Um, and you'll be able to see um, all three of these um, journals newly listed. And um, I hope that you guys are doing well and have a great uh, Christmas and New Year and everything. And I look forward to sharing more with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.